Aside from his widely known role in the actualization of Nigeria's independence and development, quotes like these from the late chief Obafemi Awolowo makes his title as a saint better understood. And 30 years after his death, his words are still resonating with family, associates and enthusiastic youth who have a passion for leadership as they gathered at his country home in Ogun State to discuss. It's this year's edition of the Hour Conversations where the topics of true federalism, resource control and good governance take center stage. The late Premier's granddaughter and executive secretary of the Awolowo Foundation sees the youth as the next best thing. Let's face it, people my generation and maybe the immediate uh, coming generation, for us, the shape has saved. But for people like you, uh, we believe there's still hope. A discussant, Professor Adebanji Akitoye, is saddened by the deepening security challenges the country is battling with, mainly brought about by mistrust and the convenient forgetfulness of teachings of men like Chief Awolowo. Why are we coming to such hard thoughts, such hard statements? Because we believe that the wisdom the wisdom that the father will recognize as when he was only a boy, a young man of 39, and that he repeated again and again and again throughout his life. Chief Ayo Adebanjo was an associate of late Chief Awolowo. He is also an advocate for resource sharing and constitutional change. And what he feels are the mistakes of the past must be dealt with before progress can be made. How can you expect me to accept the situation? That is the constitution I want to change. Lagos has a population of 20 million. Kano has a population of 55 at that time. Now, I have the same population with Lagos. Lagos has the same population with the North 55. Now, the military under their regime gave local government 20 to Lagos when they came into power, and then 74 to Kano. They didn't stop there. This is where the cheating and the fraud lies. They now say the revenue of the country will be divided on the number of local government and the number of states. So the cheating of the South is abolition. And you want us to keep trying to continue that. The late chief of Wallawa means many things to many people, but to Nigeria, he is a national treasure who will always be enshrined in its great history.